Hello, my name is Julie, and today I will go through all the books I read between April and June, and it's 15 books. So, I'm just gonna get started. The first book I read was The Power by Naomi Alderman. This book tells the story about how women become the strongest gender in terms of physical strength and power in the society. It starts with uh, this male historian author who is trying to write a book about how the world become the way it does. And he is consulting a female author who of course is his superior in this world. And uh, then we get to read the book and it's so interesting. All the documents from this time was like ruined or something so he like tried to guess between all the blank spots that we don't know. And then we get to see a discussion between the two authors about the book and what he has written and it was this part that really like I had so many feelings I was crying I was so angry and I really loved this book and gave it five stars next I reread Ready Player One by Ernest Klein I listened to the audiobook it was narrated by Will Wheaton which was really fun the book itself takes place in 2044 with a Wade Watts on an easter hunt inside the world's biggest VR game and the winner gets to be the new owner of the game. When it comes to the movie adaptation, I feel like Steven Spielberg, like, he don't understand gamers, but he captured the spirit of the game without telling the same story, or the right story. So, yeah. And Ready Player One, I gave five stars again. Next, for my bachelor degree, I read Woman and Power by Mary Bernard. It's a manifest about women's relationship to power throughout the ages. And it was a really good book, really interesting to see all these facts just lay out there. And uh, I gave it five stars. And it's a really short book, so I read it in one sitting. Which is saying something, because I'm dyslexic. And also a book I read in one sitting was Hish by Magnil Will. This is an award-winning Norwegian graphic novel and the book is about the summer between childhood and teenager years when everything changed and it has the absolute most beautiful illustrations and I gave it five stars. Next I needed a quick and easy audiobook when I was like really busy cleaning the house so I read or I listened to Don't Worry It Get Worse by Alida Nugget. This is one of those uh, how to not adult, how to adult books from one of these internet people that I didn't really know about but she was really funny and of course she narrated her, the book herself and it was perfect for exactly what I needed a fun, quick, easy book, and I gave it four stars. Next up, uh, uh, I read Nerd by Mia Linsta. This is a, uh, like, middle grade, I guess, and you are like 13 or something, about, uh, like, popularity and social media, and it feels a lot like me and girls in junior high with social media. That's like the perfect description for it. I read it because it was published by the publisher house that I had internships at and uh, they released the book just around the same time that I started there. And I gave it three stars. This publisher's house also uh, released the Norwegian version of The Hammer's Tale by Margaret Atwood. It's probably everyone knows what this is about and it really surprised me how much the book and the first season of the series is. It's just the same. I read it uh, also because the new season was about to start. It was like really nice to just read it instead of watching the whole series again. The book is really good. It didn't give me that much more since I already seen first season I had myself, but I gave it four stars. Next was another middle grade book by Lina Bergstø called This Gullert Lover or We Should All Be Lions. It's about a girl in I think it's 7th grade, like 12 years or something like that. And there's a new girl starting at her school and she wants to be her best friend. Then things happen and she finds out that this new girl is not a girl. I think it will be a really important book for children to read it and to maybe like give them a nice perspective. And it's really not written in a way I think children will understand it and they will just be like yeah, of course, that's how the world works. So I hope a lot of people read it. I gave it five stars. The next book I read was 
the upside of unrequired this is by becky albertalli and this is the um, like companion novel to simon vs homo sapiens agenda it's the story about molly she has a twin sister who is lesbian two mothers and she has never been kissed or never had a boyfriend or anything like that but have had really many crushes and this is the summer when she meets two really cute boys and like have to find out what she really wants from a boy uh, it was a really cute book i gave it four stars next book i read was the first mysteria or the first mystery by katrina Vestre. this is a popular science book about how babies are made and it's not about the uh, hanky panky birds and the bee or and not about like giving birth and all that things it's about what's happening in between these two parts and as i said it's popular science so it's written so everyone can understand it and if you think it's um like becoming mommy book it's not and if you think you remember all this from high school pretty sure you did not unless you're still in high school and learning this but still i don't think you're gonna learn all of that and i know for a fact that it's gonna get translated so if you see this book I encourage you to pick it up because it was really fun to read and really interesting to like understand so much more about how my body got made or something like that. I gave it five stars, it was really interesting. Next I read Leander of Pit, also by Becky Abertalli. This I think is my favorite book so far by Abertalli and it was really fun to follow like Simon and all the gang again. Leah is bisexual but just her mom knows and she's a little bit ashamed because Simon has come out of the closet in front of her and she hasn't. And then things happen in the friends group that like splits them up a little bit and she falls for someone she shouldn't and we follow just this last couple of months in high school for this gang and I gave it five stars. The next book I read was I Am The Messenger by Marcus Susak. The main character Ed lives a really ordinary life and he's a taxi driver without much of a future. He's hopelessly in love with his best friend and living with his coffee drinking dog, the doorman. And one day he is in a bank with his friends and the most pathetic bank robber robs this bank. And it was like a face bomb and laughed out loud during that scene. The next day he the first ace and the card ace arrives and he becomes a messenger walking around in the city trying to help people. It was really good and I gave it four stars. The next books I read was Dödvasken or Death, Death Washer by Sara Omar. This is I think the most important book I read my entire life and um, it's actually signed I get to meet Sarah Mar while I was working at the, this publisher house and she is the most beautiful human being. I get to hear her, her talk two times as well. And it's about Fremesk, who is from a hospital bed in Denmark looking back at her childhood in Kurdistan. 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 It's um, very much about how Evil people use religion as an excuse to do evil things, even though the re religion itself maybe is not as evil as like the world thinks. Think it is, if you can say it like that. Another fact that everything in this book has happened, either to, her, to Sarah Omar or like her friends, neighbors, family, friend, yeah. And the first chapter who is, that is really like horrible to read, I know Sarah Mar witness herself uh, that happened to her best friend. And that's crazy. And it's so heartbreaking to read this book. If you are light at heart, I don't recommend it, but I still recommend everyone to read it because it's so important to know like the difference between people using religion to do evil thing and an evil religion. And I gave this book four stars. Uh, it's not because it's like, it's more about how it was written 
I don't know how to describe it, but it was really unusual to read that way and I didn't really get used to it, so I gave it 4 stars. Next book I read was Rooms and Ruins by Tyne Hanna, or Drawing Hanna. It's an illustrated journal about when she spends like 6 weeks yeah, in uh, Central Africa with her friends. It's really uh, interesting, really good book and personal book and it's in English and it's self-published on Etsy so I'm gonna link it down below because I want to read it. Tainana is like my favorite and this is probably my favorite book from her. Five stars for this one. <laughs> Next I read was Paris for One by Jordan Moyers. This was a little bit like too fluffy, fluffy for me. Uh, I love me before you but this was just a girl that got abandoned by her douchebag boyfriend on her way to Paris and found out she didn't need him. That's the whole book and it was okay. I just wanted something quick and easy for my vacation. So I really want to go to Paris though. So I gave this book three stars. So that was all my books. I have like four books or something that I'm currently reading. But I'm gonna put them off because... The Bano Billiton and 24 and 48 written is just around the corner. So, and I'm gonna make a lot of videos for that. So, I hope to see you then and goodbye! <laughs>